Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this another hurricane season countdown video. So quite a bit is happening today. So today, May 15th, marks the official start of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season and it is also uh, the first day for the routine outlooks from the National Hurricane Center for the Atlantic. So instead of June 1st, outlooks have started since this morning and they will be issued at least four times each day and today we also have a total lunar eclipse that will be visible in the western hemisphere so i'll go into all the necessary details later down in this video and i'm very very excited about that because today is my birthday and i've been looking forward to this since 2017 so it's been a while so hopefully the weather is uh favorable enough to allow for some visibility especially during the total phase of the eclipse but let's get into all the details All right, so first things first, we are taking a look at the Atlantic Basin and we see that uh, things are not really active right now. We do have a trough in the Caribbean that is inducing some showers there. That's what is affecting portions of uh, Jamaica. I would say the Cayman Islands, Cuba as well. And taking a closer look here, we have it. We see some, we see an area of deep convection in the South Caribbean right there. And uh, this thing here is going to be making its way more to the U.S. because that trough is shifting, although it's going to be somewhat stationary within the Western Caribbean for a little while. And so GFS has been very consistent about a potential tropical cyclone even as much as a hurricane uh, as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this month so let us go ahead and take a look at what the model is expecting and so we are focusing on the Caribbean and the black lines that you are seeing they are called isobars and they are lines of equal pressure so what we're looking for is for them to be in a circular motion closed isobars and a minimum pressure at least below 1013 millibars so beginning on thursday the 19th of may we see that we have some activity going on in the south caribbean we do see uh, some moisture probably a lot of showers and thunderstorms there let's head to saturday on the 21st of the month and here we are seeing this a 1001 millibar low pressure system and this is likely a tropical storm at that point probably probably a very organized tropical storm based on these isobars that we are seeing it looks symmetrical and let's see what's going to be happening as we head to a week from now on Sunday the 22nd of May and we are seeing that intensification is taking place that pressure is now at around 986 millibars probably a hurricane at that point uh, just off the Yucatan Peninsula and so as we're going to be heading into next week on Tuesday the 24th of May here we are seeing a 970 millibar low pressure system so this thing here is intensifying and note that this is just what GFS is showing it does not have to be the outcome but eventually by the midweek next week GFS is showing that this thing here is going to be making landfall in Florida and then eventually making a way out into the Atlantic so it is important to know that this is just one model but it is also important to know that GFS has been consistent for several days now they might have changed a lot based on where this thing might go and how much it might intensify but for the most part it is consistent about something developing there even if it is the only model that is really showing that the other models are showing an increase in uh, moisture there but not showing much development at all but let's see what's going to be happening by the midweek we should know if there will be any development taking place in the Caribbean and so let's go ahead and take a look at the total precipitation that GFS is showing and so this is between now and Thursday and so we have the different colors that mean different amounts you can look to the right side of your screen uh, the various colors indicate different amount of rainfall we're seeing here that the south caribbean is expected to have quite a bit of rainfall between now and thursday up to probably over two inches of rainfall in total however look at this big change as we head to between now and sunday so this is not uh just for a single day but it's rather uh 
throughout the entire week this week and so we are seeing that gfs is showing that quite a bit of rainfall is going to be there and that is all going to be due to that expected uh low pressure system and if we do have development taking place the first name on the list is alex so we still haven't had alex uh that's low in the last countdown video that was of the us that did not develop into a tropical cyclone so the name alex is still there and let me know in the comments if you think that we could still see pre-season development because with every passing day the time or the chance is decreasing for us to have pre-season development but again that could change this week if what the gfs is showing is the eventual outcome but we have to focus on various conditions that need to be conducive we're talking about the wind shear the ocean temperatures and even dry air because dry air is something that inhibits uh, any sorts of development or intensification with systems uh, depending on how dry the atmosphere is in the vicinity of that system that's trying to develop so uh, the ocean temperatures are definitely favorable by the way let's take a look at that map right now and we are seeing that things are very warm in the south and northwestern caribbean which is uh, along the trajectory that the system that gfs is showing might take and so the gulf of mexico is also getting there i mean it's just really off the gulf coast of florida that is really cool right now but as for the rest of the region it is getting pretty warm and temperatures are above normal so that is something to note so once we have favorable ocean temperatures and those upper level winds aren't too hostile then we could certainly see some development take place but again we have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be and so now let's go ahead and talk about that eclipse so yes tonight the western hemisphere is going to be witnessing a total lunar eclipse or at least a partial eclipse and so uh, a lunar eclipse happens when the earth is perfectly aligned with the moon and the sun and it's actually in between them but because they are aligned the earth is going to be blocking the light of the sun from reaching the moon so instead it casts a shadow on the moon think of this if you are standing uh, between two people your shadow is going to be cast on the person behind you it's the same scenario we're dealing with here and so the earth produces two shadows the umbra and the penumbra so the umbra is the shadow of total darkness while the penumbra is the shadow that causes a faint darkness so uh for that reason we have different types of of lunar eclipses penumbral partial and total lunar eclipses and within a total lunar eclipse you see all of the other eclipses you start to see the penumbral eclipse when the moon is just entering earth's penumbra and a partial eclipse as the moon gradually makes its way into the umbral shadow so that's what's going to be happening tonight and so all of these areas that you see in this in this pale red color here all of these areas portions of north america all of the Caribbean portions of the Antarctic and even sections of the of Western Europe and Africa could even witness this eclipse as well. And so the eclipse is set to begin at around 9.32 p.m. Eastern time. And so I'll be leaving a link in the description below and you can tap it and uh, search your area to see if you will be able to view this eclipse and when it's going to be for your local time but it is going to be starting at 9 32 p.m eastern time and if you're in jamaica that is about 8 32 p.m because we are one hour behind and so guys that is really it for this video so again remember about that eclipse set a reminder if you have to if you're a very forgetful person like me so you have to set a reminder uh for it if you want to witness this amazing phenomenon and of course have a wonderful rest of the day and if you found this video to be quite informative please do a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best innocent as i can and of course always be otherwise <laughs>